one man. One hotel. One nation. In turmoil. Between April 6th and July 4th, approximately 800,000 Rwandans were slaughtered. 800,000 lives snuffed out in 100 days. That's 8,000 lives a day, more than five lives per minute. Each one of those lives was like a little world in itself. Some person who laughed and cried and ate and thought and felt and hurt, just like any other person, just like you and me. A mother's child, everyone irreplaceable. At the end, the best you can say is that my hotel saved about four hours worth of lives. Take four hours away from 100 days and you have an idea of how little I was able to accomplish against the grand design. I am not a politician or a poet. I built my career on words that are plain and ordinary and concerned with everyday details. I am nothing more or less than a hotel manager, trained to negotiate contracts and charged to give shelter to those who need it. My job did not change in the genocide, even though I was thrust into a sea of fight. I only spoke the words that seemed normal to me and sane. I did what I believed to be the ordinary things that an ordinary man would do. I said no to outrageous actions the way I thought that anybody would. And it still mystifies me that so many others could say yes.